It is so unfortunate that by the actions of the President of the United States that our country has to go through this. That was Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul commenting on the second impeachment of President Donald Trump. Now her political career facing the impact of another possible impeachment or resignation. With three women now accusing Governor Andrew Cuomo of sexual harassment and increased calls for his resignation or impeachment, the intention falls on Hochul, who would be next in line as the state's chief executive. Hochul is a Democrat who has served as lieutenant governor since 2015, Cuomo's running mate for his second term in 2014, and his second lieutenant governor succeeding Robert Duffy. Hochul, a Buffalo native in Syracuse University and Catholic University Law School grad, served in the House of Representatives for New York's 26th Congressional District from 2011 to 2013, having won a special election caused by the resignation of Republican Congressman Chris Lee. And if Governor Cuomo is forced to resign or is impeached and removed from office, Hochul would become the first female governor in the state's history. She would also be the second lieutenant governor to finish out her predecessor's term. When Governor Elliot Spitzer resigned in 2008 due to a sex worker scandal, then Lieutenant Governor David Patterson assumed office, finishing out Spitzer's term. But what if Hochul is unable to serve? Then the mantle of governor would fall to Senate President Pro Tem and Majority Leader Andrea Stewart Cousins. Stuart Cousins, no stranger to making history herself, becoming the first woman and African-American woman to lead a New York State Legislative Conference and smashing the glass ceiling further in 2019 when her peers elected her as temporary president and majority leader of the Senate. In the meantime, Democratic pressure continues to mount for the governor to resign amidst the scandal. One of those voices, Bronx Democratic Senator Alessandra Biaghi, tweeting, Governor Cuomo, you are a monster and it's time for you to go now. Now, impeachment of Governor Cuomo would require a majority vote of the total members of the Assembly, and conviction would require a two-thirds majority of the special impeachment court uh, before he could be removed from office. And the last time that happened, it was New York Governor William Salzer, the state's 39th governor, impeached, convicted, and removed from office in 1913. Corey Tamsin.